Hello and welcome to what I am now officially calling this is not a comic book because this is where I talk about an actual book and not a comic book so something without pictures which is well yeah it, it's a book so it's just words so it's not as exciting although it can be exciting because you imagine it all in your brain and it's kind of like having a movie play out while you're reading it but then again kind of not but anyway like I said it's this is not a book it's a book review kind of because every now and again like once a month I like to actually read a real book I just just to change things up a little bit and uh, the last book I read was Ready Player One and I loved that book I thought it was great I thought it was awesome like it was such a page turner I just flicked through it and just read it like in just a few days I, I was done and I don't it normally takes me quite a while to read a book so I went ahead and ordered Armada 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 even and got Ernest Klein's second book and uh, here it is right here and you know what it's it's pretty good it's no ready player one but it is pretty damn good now when I started reading it I thought it was set in the 80s but it's actually not it's set in modern day well I say modern day it's actually technically set in the future 2018 and yeah it was pretty it was pretty good although it felt dated in a, in a bit of a way because it draws a lot of influences from kind of like 80s movies like The Last Starfighter and things like that everything kind of made sense and the way everything came together was pretty cool and all the characters there were certain things that seemed too much like Ready Player One in a way but overall I enjoyed it it wasn't quite the page turner but it was a very interesting story it's about um, well essentially it's about a young man that finds out that aliens are coming to attack and yeah although it's a tiny bit of a spoiler he kind of finds out that there's this kind of secret organization run by governments around the world uh, which have always known that, uh, that aliens have existed and that they were coming for them so they've been training gamers to uh, to kind of fight in the war in the war to come so to speak and yeah that's pretty much what the uh, the story revolves around now it did get to a point like halfway through there's certain things that are supposed to happen within the book that we're told and it did get to a point where I got halfway through and I was like there's no way this book can document all of those events in the amount of pages that there are left and uh, and I was right it doesn't document everything that, that goes on there the actual, the actual story finishes at a point where where kind of like it's kind of like a halfway through point for the characters but then what's revealed at the end is such a big massive sci-fi concept that uh, I kind of want a second book in the series I kind of want to find out as to what happens um, later on in, in the far flung future just because it was uh, it was that interesting of a concept that that yeah it's proper hardcore sci-fi overall I thought the writing was pretty good it felt quite samey to Ready Player One like I've already said uh, its biggest downfall is that it's it's not Ready Player One. That's kind of its biggest downfall because it's not it's not as good. But it, I'd still give it a thumbs up. I'd, I'd advise people to read it. I've said to friends of mine, you, know, you should go ahead and read the book. Um, I would say anyone who's expecting a repeat of Ready Player One, stay away from this because it's not going to be for you. But if anyone wants to read a cool story about how gamers can potentially save the world, then then yeah, I suggest you pick up. Armada by Ernest Klein. I liked it. I thought it was good. I'll be looking forward to seeing what he does next. Um, you can't really do kind of like the same thing twice. I mean, the geek references in this book, I like they were cool and everything, but they seemed more fitting for Ready Player One because that was to do with a whole subculture of people that were into 80s stuff. Whereas this just seemed like um, kind of like a kid obsessed with the past due to family reasons but it's kind of like it just seems a not far-fetched but just a bit no kid would I don't think any kid would be that into into the 80s for that reason it, read the book and you'll you'll understand what I mean but yeah if you liked this give it a like obviously 
comment if you want don't comment <laughs> dislike maybe perhaps as well share hit the bell notification and as always i will catch you on the next one like i said this is called this is not a comic book one a month i'll catch you on the next one p.s i'll be reading behind the throne uh for my next book and it says here on the back behind the throne begins an action-packed series with a heroine as rebellious as Han Solo. And who isn't afraid to shoot first? Okay, so that'll be interesting.